Hey guys, this is Caleb with Vermeer, Texas, Louisiana, the HCD tooling specialist down here for South Texas. Today I just want to go over a few things about our armor tooling system with you guys to make sure that y'all are running the right stuff out in the field and go over kind of some of the key points of the system. First, I want to start with the housing for you guys. Um, one thing you'll notice is on our sawn lid, uh, we have three forms of retention on it. Um, three easy forms of retention. The first is going to be the retention pin to lock it into place, and that's our primary retention. The second being the back tab back here, and then the third being the set screw up front. With a lot of with a lot of companies, you'll see two big screws front and back with an additional retention pin. Um, this back tab secures it in place back here. Retention pin and set screw, making it really sturdy, not having in, in, in abrasive ground conditions. We'll move up here. Uh, you see the carbide buttons, the robust carbide buttons. Um, you know, on the housing, you're underground in rocky conditions. You need something that's going to stand up to all those abrasive things, and this is exactly what's going to do it for you guys. Similar to the housing sawn lid on your bits. We have the same thing. We have a retention pin and we have a secondary set screw to hold the retention pin in place. The first bit we're going to go over today is the Lance bit. Uh, it's one of the more popular bits down here in South Texas. Um, what you'll see is this one. Uh, we do have the chisel teeth on this. We also offer a, a pro option, which is carbide buttons instead of these uh, chisel teeth. Uh, we have the carbide hard facing all around protecting the wear points on the bit itself. Uh, we do have the quick pullback option and then roll it over. We have the dual fluid ports for water fluidity and you'll see the retention pin slot right here and the sets just a quick connect up to the bit. All right, the second bit we're gonna go over today is the gauntlet bit, uh, the gauntlet bit is typically used for hard packed soils, uh, soft rock and broken formations. Uh, we did offer, we have the three teeth up front and we offer, they're all replaceable. We offer different lengths for different formations. Uh, you'll see the scoop right here to get through some of that cobble and, steer, and for better steering. Uh, also the hard facing, the carbide hard facing at any wear points all around through the teeth. Uh, to protect those pockets, we do off. We do have the quick pullback slot right here. You'll see the carbide buttons when you really get into those broken formations and that abrasive in the abrasive conditions. Uh, this will really protect the bit and the housing itself. We have the a single recess fluid port on the front of the bit, and the second fluid port towards the back of the bit. All right guys, so the last thing I wanna go over with y'all are the pullback options for the armor system. <clears throat> the first thing we have here, it's just like our bits. It is a retention pin uh, pulling eye. So you have your retention pin going in and then you have your set screw and it's just a little pulling eye for you guys. Quick option for y'all to be able to pull back if you feel like you have a pretty rough hole, this will be the thing that you would like to use. Then we have the quick pullback hook, and this will just go in the pullback hook slot that I mentioned right here on the gauntlet bit. All you're gonna do is slide it in, hit it with a hammer a few times, and lock it in place just like the teeth, and you'll be ready to pull back. One of the benefits uh, of the armor system guys is our rebuild program. So as you know, the body of, its, of the bit starts to wear out and you see some of these pockets start to deteriorate, you lose some of this hard facing, you lose some of these uh, hard edges, uh, contact your local Vermeer dealer and we can get and we can bring your bit in, send it off to the factory and get it rebuilt for you at, at a cheaper cost than having to completely rebuy a system every time.